Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to some more Robothorium, episode 10 with our series here. Uh, we got a pretty tough fight ahead of ourselves. Let's go ahead and get started. First of all, starting off with our speed guy here. We'll be able to use these as well, which will be really, really nice. Um, I don't know when or how, but we can use them. Not really sure what the 1 out of 12 means. But, uh, okay, let's go ahead and get started. We're going to want to take this guy out first. For sure. Let's go ahead and give ourselves some resistance. And let's mark this guy as protected because he's always one of my most important guys. They have a 10% chance, I think, of focusing on this guy anyways, right? I think it was 10%, so... They should focus on attacking this guy, which would be good for us. Nice. Okay. It's definitely. Uh, let's actually thorough focus that guy. Wow. Wow. Hmm. These guys are going to do some damage. Okay. Yep, they're going to do some serious damage to us. Wow, we missed the, both of those? This could be bad. Let's definitely throw some shields on this guy. All right. Uh, we could throw protected on somebody, but we probably should try and stun some of these guys. Oh, we stunned the Juggernaut. Beautiful. Let's go ahead and stun that guy next, maybe. Nope, but we did some damage. Alright, who did we mark? Okay, he's got weak spot. I guess we never marked anyone? No, we Thera focused. And it didn't work too much to our advantage. Let's uh, throw Corrosion on... Well, I kind of want to mark somebody. Let's throw this guy. Then every time we shoot somebody with him, it'll bounce to this guy. Hopefully kill him. Oh my god, he's going to kill my Riot Bot. They killed my Riot Bot. Oh, This is looking bad, guys. And it probably wouldn't have happened if I had healed my units properly. Oh, okay. You gotta keep this guy shielded up. Okay. All right, beautiful. There we go. Juggernaut's no joke. This does a lot of damage. And it doesn't get overloaded easy, I don't feel. Really do not want to overload anybody at this point in time. They've got two units stunned. So let's not play it risky here. And let's try and keep shields going on these guys. Um, even if we overload this guy, it's kind of worth it. Oh, this guy's overloaded too, though, now. This isn't good. Oh, thank God, though, we took one of them out. This guy is going to be the death of us. Oh, Jesus, lost the repair bot, too. Well, I think we're going to lose this mission. What's this do? Is this like a retreat? Do you really want to abandon the mission? We can abandon the mission. I don't know what happens if you do that. Let's try it because I think we're just in a bad spot at this point. Oh, okay. So you just literally abandon it. Huh. Well, yeah, that was rough. I'm going to have to buy a new 
guy here. And I don't even have a new medic bot, which really kind of sucks. And we could put this guy up there. Increases the overload of all enemies. Deal five damage to each enemy of a line per percent of enemies overload. Penetrates the shield of an ally line by 3% of launcher's overload. Reduces the overload of all allies to 0% and regenerates their shield by 78. Hmm. Yeah, let's put the shield bot back up there and go for the same talents. We could change some of these. I know some of these I didn't like. We did use intervention a lot. We used shockwave. We didn't use cyber bullets that much, but provoking sh or uh, provocating shout we didn't either. Applies reduced precision to all enemies. Twenty percent chance to fail a skill. Takes damage equivalent to ten percent of maximum shield structure combined per turn. With corrosion, which you can throw corrosive grenade. Deal 68 damage to all enemies, 50% chance to apply corrosion. That's actually pretty good. Let's grab the corrosive grenade. Uh, it has a 10 to 20% chance to apply thorough focus. So let's go for that instead. And then let's go for the stunned. And then the... Th let's go for reinforced titanium this time. We'll have to... He's only level 6, yeah. Some of these guys are close to level 7, so that sucks. And I really want to get a medic bot. I don't really want to fly around with anybody else, to be honest with you. I find the medic bot to be just the most useful. I could grab another scout. There's also this unit here, which we could take a look at. We've got the money, so we might as well buy her and see what she's got. Um, damage transfer, immaterial barrier, mesmerize. Maybe she just has to use basic attack on itself. Huh. It's not bad. Regenerates the shield of an ally line by 109 applies cooling. Okay. Um, damage transfer. All damage taken are shared between targets affected by damage transfer. Applies damage transfer to an ally and to the launcher. So, we could try her. She's kind of a support role. And this one's actually got some pretty good... ...talents. Let's see. So, uh, what other stuff is there here? Changes the launcher's skills and takes an aggressive posture increase. Okay, so these are different. Now her skills are changed. She's more aggressive. Conversion stalk. That's more of like a support role. Okay, so that's different. So let's stick with that. The support role class. Chance to apply damage reflection. I like that. Um, generates the passion by the group. Uh, reduces the overload generated by passion of the group. Which is the one that... Applies a shield bonus. Artistic performance. Which we're not going to worry about because we're not going for a... We're going for a support role. Each heal received increases power by 5% stacks up to 3 times. Oh. Each heal received... Let's see. Applies conversion to an ally line. So these are the three up here we're looking at. Hundred percent to, to apply damage. Transfer all damage taken or shared between targets reflects thirty percent of damage taken. And okay, so it's the, either this one damage taken reduced by thirty percent as long as shield is above zero. When the immaterial barrier runs out, deals damage equivalent to 15, 30% of allies' power to all enemies. Ooh, I like that. Let's grab that too. Then we've got one more. Increase the effects of postures by 5, 10%. When an ally is healed, 
Grants 5, 10% chance to apply one random bonus to him. Increases speed by 10, 20. Increases heals received by the launcher's line. Heals received have a chance to be critical heals. Cool. Increases regeneration by 7 to 15. Yeah, let's go for that. 50% chance to turn a critical heal. All right, we'll see what that does because she does heal. She's got the... Uh, the... Um, passion of the group. We'll give it a shot and see. I'm not sure if I'm crazy about the way she operates, but... All right, let's go ahead and do this uh, main mission. Sai, you have the right to know how everything got to be so messed up. Let me tell you the story of Sla. Sla was a mechanic robot whose assignment was in a French factory working on the town's speeder engines, but his productivity scores were kind of low, so Break Tech fired him. Sla was no use to them. He couldn't fulfill his duty, so he started looking for something else, which scared the engineers, and they disassembled him as a result. Once word got out, it caught like wildfire, and the robots started to demand some rights. I'll let you guess what happened next. Jack Law and Break Tech came down on the protesters like a ton of bricks. They were too prideful to even consider robots as anything more than just tools. Long story short, here we are. Opposition groups are multiplying. Jack Law is getting tougher, and Break Tech keeps him supplied with weapons and ammo. Jack Law sowed the seeds of discord, and we will be storm. We will be the storm that sweeps them away. Your role in this revolution is a lot more important than you think, but we're still missing a few pieces in the puzzle. This large laboratory in Pretoria should give us all the info we need. All right, this could be pretty hard because we don't have my, you know, hit hard-hitting group. But a long time ago, my father, Alan Samov, was building artificial intelligence in this very room. He was ringing, or I'm sorry, he was singing the praises of Break Tech and perpetrated. Uh, uh, purported to bring self-reliance and freedom to the people, but he changed his tune pretty much overnight. He kept coming home late and sleeping little. He said he was working on a secret project that would show the whole world the truth, but he vanished before he could finish it. My father said he knew something that he wasn't supposed to know. I've searched through his entire lab before, but the sensitive data was in inaccessible to me. So our first step will be the integra uh, integration room. Help me decry decrypt the assimilation codes and we'll be able to know more. All right, let's do it. Hopefully we have a little bit more luck as we fight more enemies. Tech, wow, what is that? Yeah, that's what I was worried about. So he's a huge support group. Deals a lot of damage with laser beam, quick regeneration, regenerates the shield of an ally by 388. Enhanced resistance, thorium flask, uh, regenerates the shield of an ally. So he's a huge support uh, unit. Damn, we're fighting some pretty tough guys now. Uh, let's definitely focus on taking this guy out. And we'll see how our support unit does here. So change launcher skills, take an aggressive posture, increases speed by 20. See, that's so interesting to me. So you can just do that whenever you feel like it. But we're going for a more support role, so we'll see how that goes. All damage taken or shared between targets affected by damage transfer, damage reflection. So let's throw it on this guy. And let's go ahead and try and stun. Nice, very good. All right, let's throw a grenade here. Hits all enemies, gives them corrosion, has a chance to damage taken, increased by 40% with the Thier Focus. Beautiful. Ah, uh, interesting. Let's put corrosion. Okay, so they're protecting that guy. But we're still going to corrode him and make him a mark. Ah, oh, see, so it's going to go to him. But that's fine, actually. I'm okay with this. So... Okay. All right, uh, explosive barrier. When an immaterial barrier runs out, deals damage equivalent to 30% of the allies' immaterial barrier. So let's throw that on this guy. And we'll have him shoot this guy. Who is stunned now. Perfect, that's what I want. 
That's what I want. That's what I don't want. Ah, try to take one of these guys out at least. All right. So that regenerates all their shield and puts cooling on them. So that's pretty useful. And still would like to get uh, Thorium on these guys again. Let's go for this. Because with the Mark target, that helps a lot. Hell of Bullets is nice sometimes, but not all the time. Alright, so I guess she's got to change her stance if she's going to use something else here. She uses... Oh, she uses... Overload for everything, so she eventually... Cooling overload reduces by 20% per turn. She eventually is just going to get overloaded. That's what she does. Um, but she doesn't... She's, her abilities are not as expensive. Applies damage transfer to an ally into the launcher. Immaterial barrier. Put that back on somebody. Or we could just keep up in shield. Why don't we just keep doing that till she overloads? It looks like we can almost use that. Alright, I would love to throw this grenade again. We get some corrosion on there. These guys are thorium focused. That's good. I'm okay with these guys doing that because I'm going to focus shoot them anyways. I don't even care. Just like that. And since they're thorium focused, they're going to take a lot more damage. So I'm getting more used to this person here. I think that I can use them. The only thing I got to deal with is that they are going to more than likely overload. Oh, actually, she lost it all, though. That's crazy. Okay. So let's shield again. So there's actually some serious potential with that unit. I'm glad I found that out. Um, so we actually did. That is how that works as a timer. But we're not going to use that because that would be, a, I feel, in this instance, a huge waste of potential. So let's definitely try and kill this guy. Nice. With all due respect, I smite thee. That was probably one of the best ones I've seen so far. Let's throw uh, Corrosion on this guy and mark him. Alright, let's do this. Beautiful. We should get some level 7 guys after this. Nice. Definitely a good ability. Alright, let's try to take this guy out. A little bit. Do some shockwave and stun some of these guys. Beautiful. Damn it. Try to kill this guy in the front here, and then I can focus on the back line. Because these are all support units, so there's not a whole lot they can do once they're... Once they're beat up here. Put immaterial barrier. They keep taking this attacking this guy. Okay, that whole back road's stunned. That's perfect. So it's gonna have to skip all of them now. means we can pretty much get a free pass here to kill this guy. All 
right. There we go. And why don't you go ahead and take that guy out? Yeah, I like this whole frontline healing thing. Damn, that's actually pretty good. All right, let's focus on this guy. And we stunned him. That's good. Try and stun the whole line here. No, it didn't work. Nice. Nice. So we'll get this guy here right now. Maybe. I'm not going to use any of the special abilities. I'm going to save them for battles like the one where we lost our riot bot. Because <clears throat> that sucked. Alright, he's dead. Let's focus on you. Let's go ahead and mark you, actually. So maybe we'll focus on this guy. Or just both of them. It doesn't really make that much of a difference at this point. Yep, that's what I was hoping. Get a little bit of overheating there, but... That's pretty useful. Nice! Damn! She's way better than I thought. And we just got a bunch of level 7... Uh, bots here, so we can go ahead and dump into some of these talents here. Um, do the increased damage dealt by 10%. That's going to be huge for us. Uh, for this guy. We we're all finished up with that. We could do that because 100% has to turn one random bonus and the enemy into a random penalty. Which isn't bad. Each new bonus applied to an alley of the same line has a 25 to 50% chance after the regeneration. Increased power. Two times been named Jorno P. Uh, or, uh, da also, damage also increased by 2 to 5% for each bonus on the launcher. Killing an enemy with the order shoot grants 1500% chance to spread all target penalties to one random enemy, which is kind of cool. Let's uh, go ahead and go for that, though. Boy, now for you, right? So you've got the Inspiring Presence. Increased chance to hit a critical. Grants 25 or 50% chance to activate regeneration when overload increases. Increases the chance that enemies attack the allies from the other line. The enemies attack the allies from the other line. Why would that be useful? I don't know what that uh, means yet. Increase critic by 5-10%. So we increase our critical chance, which is e which goes even best with this. So why don't we do that? For sure. Okay, then we've got this mythic weapon now. we got another mythic weapon, huh? Didn't somebody have a mythic? Oh, maybe not. So who is this useful on? You... Yes. Okay, so you've got a mythic weapon now. It says that the these are better for you. Maybe, yeah, that would be. Yep, take that. And that gives you even more health and armor. Yeah, I'd say that's worth it too. Look at that. That's kind of cool. Yeah, so he's a little slower, but he's a health... He's a health tanking god now. A little faster speed if we wanted it. Ooh. Uh, I would think I'd rather ch stick with the world champion drone.
Okay, I think that's everything there. So with that being said, we're at the end of this episode. I want to thank you all for joining me. I do hope that you've enjoyed it. Look forward to seeing you next time. Bye.